Hello everyone, I'm Chadine over here and as you always know you can like my videos and subscribe in any of the cats that is on the site So this will be the final uh, update to my guide that I've been doing As you know there have been others, the one for leveling, the early game, mid game, mid to late And now this will be the last one Sadly I have not acquired the gear that I wanted I will post um, a planner with kind of the gear the same gear that I would use for clearing more of it, so you can, of course, make it a lot more offensive. You can put uh, the fighting chance, and you can put four of the adorned my son idols, get even more damage. And of course, it has the thing that I wanted to have, that is a steamed face with dexterity, and also a jewel with dexterity. I did put the tier seven ones, but of course, as you know, you can always. Get a tier 6 uh, titan heart in the chest piece so it's less problematic but you can of course change it to a static shell if more damage if you want to get that one tap dream sadly i couldn't achieve it but maybe you can and if you do please um make it in a comment you can one tap a uh, jewel i actually did one tap her um, but it's nothing incredible nowadays so i didn't do any video but first of all let me get you my let's say recent orb skills i will post a video about this but i wanted to show them also now let's put them over here of course i will explain everything about the build later but for people that want actually want to see some action let's go into it There it is. Really struggle to find it. So this is a video where I will do my last four orbis. You can try and bet on the number of kills that we actually get. I'm not a super good player, first of all, of course. But at least we do have one kill here. If you haven't seen the build ever, I'm doing two fast combos here. And then I'm just doing the, um, the combo where we clear monoliths, so where we use shift to get our 100% clear, and also lethal mirage. When I can, I do two ruptures to get the lethal cadence up and make it a little bit shorter. We also get a little bit of mana left. Um, you can, of course, challenge the point to get more mana if you want. I don't have it talented. I, have, I prefer to get a more armor shot and other things. And now here comes Avarath, our boy. On this clip, I actually mess up the long combo. But it doesn't matter that much. Because he gets the damage in vulnerability anyway, kind of, let's say. Now he does a charge. And we do another short combo. Try not to get hit. Remember to get your stacks of perfection. Going. And stay at full health if possible. Also for some talents that you want to have active. Here we do another short combo with the Jew as a star dial up, so we do more damage. And here I try to do a short one, but I actually get annoyed by a lot of shit. Here I do a short one again. Now as you can see, our damage is actually quite decent. Uh, we are facing him one combo at a time and it makes it so you actually don't have any problem of course if you do get hit the damage you take is actually quite high but you also if you have the right gear you don't get one shot and here we are in the last phase remember he does two cones one cone and then he does the other cone and he's dead now, of course, as you do know, um, the combos and things like that, I'm going to explain them now. First, I'm also going to leave something, let's say it could be harder in theory, depending on the mods that you have and other things. 
I'm going to go and put the video where I killed the um, Harbinger and Lagon, both of them. And as you know, of course, uh, our damage is actually quite decent. This is 580 corruption, 85 actually. But it is the same thing. You don't want to get hit and you want to hit Lagon as much as possible. As you can see, we had actually my dream gear where I would have 120 something dexterity. He would have completely gotten rolled. Sadly, that is not to be. Now I will skip, of course, this uh, boring part. No one cares about the um, thing like that. Also, Lagon dies in wild combo if you want to see it. Here it is. Remember to be full health if you can try. There's like a, this weird bug where he gets just fucking freezes your screen for some reason. And this Harbinger is actually, in my opinion, the hardest. But that doesn't mean that you can't do it, just don't get hit. <laughs> While he, she does the Waste of Darkness, you can get a short combo in. Here you could also get one, but I don't have enough mana, so I just run away. Now she will jump or run. And she is dead. Now, I will explain the whole build now. You may think that it's a little, a little bit slow, but people really want to see content before going into the build itself. Of course, since the beginning, there's the planner. The planner is the one that I have also for the monolith one. I do a showcase and also leave the gear that I would want to have. Of course, if you want to do bosses, you can make it do even more damage. If you put on your fighting chance gloves and um, get a four adorned Majasan once uh, with armor shot effect and multiplier, get the multiplier as high as possible. The armor shot, if it's like 40 or 50, it's okay because. And if with gloves uh, with shred armor, you actually cap the effectiveness. Uh, it's like um, 40 or 20 stacks with some power like that. If you get enough armor shred effect and armor shred chance, there are like tables that people have done. You can take out these five points and put them in more dexterity over here or in damage with the haste. Now, some things that I want to explain about our points now that we are here. As you know, we have Coated Blade that gives us a lot of damage, but our abilities cost 40 more mana if they use mana. That's why it's important on Puncture to not get the point where you use more mana. We have Lethal Cadence, nothing but 100% more damage. Well, more damage, no, increased damage. And on RPGs, this is important. These ones are really good. You get less damage while moving and some touch rating. Uh, haste on hit and you also get increased damage per move speed this one of course glancing blows is one is one of our main defenses you always want dexterity and this one you actually don't care that much now for blade dancer to go ahead you have to get of course this one is super good apostasy to get the dodge to glancing blow never bad you get five points here and five points here just to get all of the important parts. I will explain flow in a bit. This point here was before here, but I actually don't care that much about that Sherrod. One in rhythm, you don't really care about the um, duration of flow, uh, of the attack speed, of course, because the Thunder Age does not care about attack speed and the tempo, it's important. You get some multiplier and also some damage, never bad. Now, of course, more damage on high health, well, full health. We are not dual wielding, so we don't care about these two nodes. We already get our leech from our lethal mirage. If you use my build, you don't have the siphon of anguish. We don't really care about bleed on either of these. Silver bail, if you want, you can get one point, but that means that you ha will have to take one point elsewhere. It's not bad, you get an auto dodge. Now perfection, you get the maximum stacks of 10 and each stack gives you 10% damage. Here you get two stacks instead of one. If you add full health, of course. 
this makes it so you have some dodge rating and armor per perfection armor armor shred like i said before if you have enough of the idols that gives you super uh, good armor shred value and you have your gloves with armor shred or the neck or even on your weapon if you take it there you can take these five off and put them elsewhere you can even put them on my region if you are really struggling with my region now one shadow really important critical multiplier instead of normal hits really important as we are always doing critical damage we don't really care about um critical chance critical vulnerability is decent when the map has um i'm up, sorry the echo has the critical avoidance and that door it's never bad to have you get less damage you get one shot less on marksman we get some dexterity and concentration it's 16 percent more damage if you don't get hit on melee that means that you can get hit if, if the boss is a little bit farther away and you don't lose the buff so if you get hit try and get hit being away from the buff of course i'm going 100 so just take these ones of course as the kind of last ones after doing everything here and everything here now for our normal abilities our main one will be left on mirage but it interacts with shadow we do two nodes we get a lot of damage we get one more hit per shadow we use five of them so we get five more hits we also get two more hits here and two more hits here and then we get 40 percent more damage per shadow if of course we use four shadows we are getting 200 percent more damage if the mob has 20 stacks of lead we get also 60 percent more damage on penetration it's never bad more damage in general and this one is whatever because now we have shocking grasp that will make it so your base damage instead of being physical is going to lightning and also the lightning damage that some and the bleed and poison get converted into shock chance this will be important a little bit later but now i'm also going to talk about our enablers to do that much damage Shift is really important because it will leave one shadow, making it uh, 5 when we do the whole combo. And you get 20 damage here and 30 damage here. Now, of course, these points here sadly are not useful for us because um, we don't get any bleed chance with Shocking Grasp. But we get the always deals critical strikes. Really important because it makes it so we don't have to care that much about other things course you get some mana here and it's never bad to get the extra thing here now this is also why we use less damage just after shifting you get this 50 percent increased um damage because you have that point in the rogue tree now for synchronous strike you will of course go first for dark allies but never forget dynamics to get efficiency you can also get efficiency on your chest or on your head, depending on how you want to do it. I don't really uh, go for those points, but those are really neat. Clean some storm, you get 150% uh, bleed chance. This will be important a little bit later. And here, this is your cool, let's say, or your kill enemy when it's at or below 15%. Really good and really valuable, in my opinion. Now, of course, getting a little bit of area is never bad. That makes it so you can hit it with more than one. And we get here some shred and bleed chance now our other enablers for bleed and armor shred a little bit we have our umbra blades we are actually not using this ability same as the ballista the ballista is only to fix flow um that is important so you know and of course we are going to go into umbra and remnant and then the coffin is steel so we'll get the ladies and then the, you're going to get more duration and area and that they seek enemies they can only be hit by one at a time but it's still decent we don't have this node because you need a dagger and for this to work um some chill and freeze rate helps a little bit it's also never bad to get the bleed you actually don't actually we also don't recall blades so that's not important but bleed chance it's never bad and here you get some attack speed that is whatever 
Now for rupture, we will use rupture or our short and long combos. As I said before, you can get the man on hit instead of, uh, of the shred if you already have your cap shred and you don't care. Sometimes you can clear mobs with the with this one. You hit a shadow dagger, it does like 15k damage, it kills some mobs. You don't have to use mana. Rapid strikes is really important because it makes our short combo really fast. And it also makes it possible to do the fast combo before the Julgas star dial ends. Getting these uh, four mana per hit, it's also not super bad. But the important thing is here we have 100% bleed chance. And we also get this ramping buff where we get 60% bleed chance per stack. Now onto the abilities that we actually use. I'm going to do right now the short combo, the long combo. And then a combo where you have some time but no mana. And then a combo where you just do the shift and go. The first combo is of course I'm going to synchronize the strikes. One drop short. Shift. And before one second comes off we are going to do the level mirage. In the case that you have to run around or do anything. You can run around after the synchronized strike or after the rupture. But do try to not take more than 4 seconds if your Jewel Rust Star Dial is propped. Otherwise, the damage will be lost. Also, while you are doing that, the mob gets the 20 stacks of bleed. You can do you can see that in my Orobis kill and in my Lagon and uh, Harbinger kill. And now when you have a lot of time and you can just uh, do a whole long combo. But this combo is actually not that much damage um, than the other one. It's just that you can't do two in a row. Usually, if there is enough time, you just do two in a row. But if the mob has any explosion around them or in vulnerability phase, like you just when a hard ringer spawns, you can do this long one. It will be synchronized the strikes, then four ruptures, shift, and left arm mirage. As you can see, we do it before the Jewel Run thingy goes off. And we get extra bleed stacks and extra armor shreds on the mob. This, of course, you only want to do it, as I said before, if there is a huge explosion and you can't do two. Because if you can't do two short ones, it's way better than I do like at the beginning of Lagon. I do. And of course, I would use Left Army H again, but. We don't have any target, so we didn't get the resets. Now, as for our gear, it's already in the planner, but sadly, right now, I don't have it in myself, but we can kind of simulate it. This will be kind of what you would want to run, but with actually good mods instead of the ones I have. For boss killing, of course, you can put your fighting chance here, or if you get some swaddle of the raised with some good uh, armor shred chance and dexterity, go ahead. Uh, if they have six dual stats, even better. So if you want, you can gamble uh, Swallow of the Rest with 23 or 24 will, and just go ham. You can two Jurassic Star dials with dexterity. Ideally, it's tier seven dexterity and uh, lightning damage, or two LP, but as you know, it's not easy to get those. So I have one piece, our um, belt, the ones I put actually in the, um, the planner has cooldown reduction, but lining damage of course would be the thing that does the most damage, and you also never want to skimp on health, you can skip always cooldown reduction for health, same with the boots, instead of the cooldown recovery speed we would want tier 7 dexterity, on your helmet the same thing. Dexterity instead of this uh, wielding a sword. Just put in that one because it was something I had. And Nihilis, the important stats are, of course, increased mana and health, then dual skills, all, all S resistances, and mana regen. Of course, if you get some mana regen on your 2 LP Jewel uh, it's never bad. You can also get mana regen on your belt. And put the lightning damage in my region. 
Now, for your Black Blade of Chaos, you want that lining, if possible, tier 7, and then Critical Strike Multiplier or MIDI damage, depending on if you get a tier 7 or tier 6 of any of those, it's pretty good. Multiplier, of course, will be stronger. But if you can only get a tier uh, 7 and none of the tier 6, you can also put that. Honorable mention to getting uh, two tier 7s or tier 7 or tier 6 of melee lining and void with a uh, blood blade of chaos that actually has the two uh, pens at four. Uh, that is actually really good because you get a lot of damage on either of them. And now for the idols, you can get idols here with. Um, increase health for this slot here because you know you can only fit one of these and then a little one you can also fill everything here with health and some resistances like i did in the planner or you can put four um mayas and idols you can put one here one here one here and one here and then fill the places that you have left with some little ones with armor and health which of course really good and it's never bad. Now for blessings, you want, uh, in my case, I want the endurance and all resistances, it's really good. But if you already have good resistances, you can get the critical strike avoidance or necrotic or not the damage, of course, the resistance is never bad. But for my case, I want the all resistances. Same thing with Void, if instead uh, you have a lot of Void resistance, you can get the Critical Multiplier one or Dodge to cap your Dodge rating. Of course, this is a really bad rolled one, but you can get up to 100 uh, Dodge rating. You can also get the um, Void Shred, but Multiplier is just better all around. Quartum Kill is never bad to clear monoliths, but I don't really mind it that much. Now here, of course, uh, we don't care about these ones. Physical resistance, the same thing. There is one here that gives us uh, endurance threshold, I think. But I'm using physical resistance to cap the resistance itself. You can also get some um, cold resistance if you have more physical than cold. And the other ones are just whatever. Now, of course, um, the one with, that we care quite a bit uh, shred lining. It's your only way to get shred lining. But if you already have a huge deal of pen and other things, you can use the mana one. It's never bad. There are also others that have like health region, increased lining, whatever. We don't really care that much about those. Part per second and the po and the potion one and other things. We don't really care. So that would be almost everything. I hope you had a great cycle like I did. Sadly, as you might see. As you might know, I'm really unlucky, so I'm kind of sad. But tomorrow we have the Path of Exile League, so that is something. And this will be me saying bye bye until the next cycle. Maybe I revisit the, um, the cycle a little bit later. Maybe there are more black blades to do cool things. But for now, I will see you on the next video.